Alright, good morning, or whatever time it is for you. It's the morning for me. I'm sitting here drinking my coffee and I'm actually getting ready for the day. I'm gonna put just like an everyday kind of makeup type of situation on. And I thought it would be helpful to show y'all how I do my makeup when my skin is just not doing the greatest. Right now I'm actually currently dealing with a lot of irritation and dryness because I'm trying on a retinol. I don't know why. I mean, I know why, but it's like I had such a solid skincare routine and now I'm changing it up. And I'm just dealing with a lot of dryness right under my eye area. I s doused my face in an oil this morning, so it's not looking quite as flaky, but it is really dry. There's so much texture under here. I can just feel how bumpy it is. And, um, you know, some days I need to put some makeup on and I feel like I just, I would feel more confident if I put a little bit of makeup on. So I'm going to show you the products that I use. It's very, very simple. And I like these products in particular because they're not irritating, fragrance free, like none of the extra stuff. They're just very simple products that work, don't cause more irritation. And actually, the a couple of these products I'm going to talk about, I actually feel like actually help my skin, um, which is also nice. I absolutely hate wearing makeup when my skin is just not feeling the greatest, not looking the greatest. Because um, I just feel like a lot of that texture really does show through the makeup. And makeup can oftentimes accentuate, you know, texture and dryness and... Oftentimes I feel like my skin actually looks better without makeup on when I'm dealing with this kind of irritation, but today I do want to put some makeup on so I thought I would show you what I'm wearing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I've got my hot cup of coffee. Grab a drink, grab a snack, y'all know the drill, and let's get into it. So this is the oil that I used. Um, I've been using this for about a week. It's the Good Molecules, Good Molecules, it's a weird word to say, Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil. It's just camellia and sea buckthorn oils. So when I have dryness, I feel like moisture is my number one friend. I just feel like making sure that my skin is really hydrated is very beneficial and just helps all the products just lay more nicely on the skin. Um, when choosing a facial oil, make sure you look at the ingredients because a lot of facial oils, especially kind of in this clean beauty space, there's a lot of essential oils and very just irritating ingredients. And so, um, yeah, I feel like facial oils, a lot of brands tend to love to just throw in a bunch of essential oils in there. I don't know why, um, but those can be really irritating, especially if you're going to be out in the sunlight and just irritating in general. So I doused my face in this this morning and then I applied my sunscreen. I'm just using my Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. Um, that one's fragrance free. It's not irritating at all. It's not too thick or too heavy on the skin either. So I love that one. And actually on the topic of sunscreens, I just bought the or pre-ordered the new Purito sunscreen. I'm so excited. I ordered it off of Yes Style and um, I think it launches in like a week and a half or so. So I just went ahead and pre-ordered it because I'm really excited about it. But anyway, back to the makeup. So my favorite foundation to use, whether my skin is doing really well or not very well, is the Oxygenetics Oxygenating Foundation, but especially when my skin is not doing well or it's just feel, feeling very inflamed or irritated. You know, I, I feel like we all know our skin the best. You know when your skin is just not happy or you know when your skin is just not 
feeling it. And this is the foundation I always reach for when my skin is just not there. It's not 100% and I just need something that's comfortable, that's not going to cause any irritation. And I actually find that this foundation actually expedites the healing of my skin. It's an amazing foundation when I was dealing with really bad acne, uh, I want to say like a year and a half ago, two years ago-ish. Um, this is all that I wore and I actually saw a noticeable difference not only from my skincare but from this foundation. It's amazing. It's so, so expensive which is why I only use it in my personal time. I don't ever film with this because it's just ridiculously expensive. I love this and this is what we're going to be using today. So I have this in the shade Walnut. This is a good shade for me when I'm self-tanned. I'm actually going to self-tan today. It's wearing off so it's going to be a little dark for me but when I'm not self-tanned I use the shade Taupe and my favorite way to apply this foundation is with my hands just like a moisturizer. So I'm going to take about one and a half pumps, which is that much. Um, this is more of a, say like a natural matte finish, but I think a lot of that depends on how you prep your skin. Um, if you use a really heavy moisturizer underneath, it will come off a little more glowy. If you use a very lightweight, more matte, or even a more matte moisturizer, it's going to read very matte. So it's a great product in the sense, it's a great product in that way because just depending on how you prep your skin, it's going to look a little different. Very, very moisturizing texture. Gosh, I can just feel my dryness. Oh, it's just so, my skin is so flaky. And I find if you are dealing with a lot of dryness and texture, I would not go in with a brush because a brush can sometimes pick up some of that texture or some of that dryness it can pick up on that and just make it look worse. So I would recommend either a sponge or your hands. With this particular foundation, I think the hands work the best. I don't love using a sponge with it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's really nice. And it doesn't even really look like I have a foundation on, but it just kind of evens everything out. It's buildable. And yeah, I know I've talked about this foundation for years, but this is seriously a life-changing product. When I was dealing with really bad acne, I I just remember trying to get ready and just bawling my eyes out because nothing looked good. Everything irritated my face and I just hated putting makeup on. But at the same time, I was so self-conscious about my skin that I wanted to put something on my face, you know, to take down the redness, just kind of even things out. And um, this was seriously a life changer. This really did help my skin, boost my confidence, and it's just so good. So if you have the means to buy this, it's incredible. And I do have a discount code for the foundation, so I'll link that below. Uh, I have a 20% off discount code, so um, yeah, that helps out a lot. All right, so this next product was another product that I used when I had really bad acne, and this was a lifesaver as well. I just felt like it didn't cause any irritation. It actually had a very calming effect on my breakouts. Now, I'm not dealing with any breakouts right now, but I just find that this concealer works really well with, just in general, just my skin. So I can always count on this one. It's never... It doesn't break me out and it just always looks really good. It's got decent coverage and it's just the one that I always go to because it's just such, it's such a, a nice experience to apply to my face. I don't feel like I'm caking on a ton of makeup. So this is the Era Perez Arnica Concealer. Y'all already know this is my holy grail favorite concealer of all time. And sometimes if I am breaking out or if my skin's just really inflamed, sometimes when I apply certain concealers or even foundations, it burns a little bit, like it'll cause my skin to sting. I don't know why, There obviously there's something in that, in the product, the ingredients that's causing it to do that, but this, it does the exact opposite. It's almost just like this cooling, calming effect. Um, I don't know if it's because of the Arnica in here, I'm assuming that's what it is. Um, this is the Aeropress Arnica Concealer. I don't know if I said that already, but I just feel like it's so calming on the skin. Um, it doesn't accentuate dryness, it is more of a natural, finish um, depending on what you put underneath so because this foundation is more matte this concealer is going to translate more matte but if you put it on top of a more hydrating glowy foundation it won't come across as matte so I would say it's like a nice natural finish it's a really nice in between 
and I just depotted all my favorite shades in here and I'm just going to use this on my finger. Again, I don't like to use brushes when I'm dealing with texture and dryness and just overall irritation because I feel like a brush can kind of do more harm that way. Um, so I just like to use my fingers. You can use a sponge, of course, um, but this is just quicker and easier and it really melts the product into the skin. And if you wanted to skip foundation altogether, sometimes if I'm in a hurry or I just don't want to deal with foundation altogether, I'll just use this concealer by itself and just apply it to the areas where I need it and not even worry about foundation. I just feel like when I wear this foundation, I feel like when I take my makeup off, it's like almost my skin looks a little bit less irritated and better than when I started the day. So I don't know, that, that foundation is just, it's something else, it's so expensive, but I find that it's worth every penny and I just use it very sparingly. All right, so that's all the product I'm gonna use. I don't like to pile on too much product especially when dealing with texture because I feel like just if you just the more product you apply the more heavy and cakey it starts to look so I'm gonna leave it like this I'm gonna do a little bit of cream bronzer and I would recommend if you are dealing with dryness and texture cream products are probably gonna be the best way to go just because they're not gonna pick up on that texture I feel like creams lay better on top of texture. That's just my personal opinion. Um, of course, if you're not comfortable using creams, don't use them. But I just find that by pressing a cream on top of any kind of texture or breakouts or irritation, I feel like it just sits better on the skin. It almost just kind of flexes with the skin and moves with the skin a little bit better. Whereas a powder, it's... I don't know, I just feel like it always comes off a little patchy. But again, you do you. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of cream bronzer. This is the Persona um, Bronze Multi-Stick. I love this. This is really, really good. Sometimes if I'm just in a hurry or i just being lazy, I'll just take the deepest shade of my AeroPress concealer, use that as bronzer. You can use a deeper shade of your favorite concealer, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to use this today. And I don't want to swipe it on the cheek. I'm actually not dealing with a ton of texture or anything right here. But just to show you, if you are dealing with breakouts or texture or anything along the cheek, I wouldn't recommend drawing your product right on because I can catch on some of the bumpiness and texture. I would actually either go in with your finger and press it on or use a brush. So I'm just taking this e.l.f. stipple brush. And you want to use these kind of pressing motions to apply it rather than buffing or wiping because again that can just really pick up on any texture that you have on your face um, but just using these light bouncing motions you can use a sponge that would work as well too um, this will help to apply the product a lot more evenly and I love this persona bronzer because it's so creamy and um, you definitely don't want to use any cream products that are too drying because that can really accentuate texture and dryness. So I like to go for formulas that are a little bit more on the creamy, slightly dewy side. Danessa Myrick's Balm Contour would be an amazing product for this. I'm just trying to uh, give her a break because I feel like that's the only cream bronzer I ever use. And I feel like a good cream bronzer can almost mask a little bit of, you know, redness or irritation because it does have that color to it. So it can almost just add more coverage and conceal some of your breakouts or, you know, whatever you're dealing with. It can kind of help with that as well. All right, so before going in with blush and any other complexion products, I'm gonna set my face. This is the order that I like to do it. I am gonna be using a cream blush today and I find that cream blushes wear in on my skin. They wear better on top of powder, but whatever you wanna do, whatever you're most comfortable with, um, especially just whatever cream blush formula you, you're using, um, you can go and do your cream blush now or cream highlight, whatever you wanna do. But I'm gonna go and set my face. I'm gonna use my Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder. This is an amazing powder. It's very soft and has a little bit of like a, I hate to use the word blurring. I feel like that's such a, that's such a, a marketing term, but it really does give this kind of blurring effect to the skin. It really just softens 
and just smooths. And I find that, you know, powders can really make your skin, well, I mean, they can really make or break your look. You know, if you have a really good powder, it can instantly just add that nice kind of smoothing effect. But some powders can do the exact opposite and make your skin look dry and crepey. So I think it's just about finding the right powder for your skin. I love this one. The Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil Pressed is another amazing one. So I, I would use either of those when my skin is dealing with irritation. And I like to take it on a smaller brush, not just for my under eyes, my T-zone, but for my whole face. And I'm just using these kind of, again, just like with the cream bronzer, these pressing motions rather than wiping or dragging the powder because you don't want to pick up or lift up on any of that dryness that you may be having. So I would say highlighter, I would just skip it, especially if it's like a shimmery highlighter. Um, has any kind of little flecks of anything, I feel like oftentimes that can really accentuate dryness, texture, irritation. And it's just another product to lay on the skin that I just don't find is necessary. However, if I could recommend one highlighter that I think actually helps to make my skin look less dry, less crepey, less irritated. It's the Makeup by Mario Master Secret Glow. This is a completely clear balm. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, it is gorgeous. It's completely clear. There's no shimmer or glitter, but this really helps to make my skin look more hydrated, look more juicy, and just look, just overall, just look more beautiful. Um, so if I, I think if you're going to wear a highlighter, I would go for something like this rather than like a straight up shimmery highlighter like this. I love this highlighter by Lila B, but I would probably avoid something like this that's more shimmery and go for more of a balmy highlight. And this one in particular is extremely long wearing and it just kind of feels like an extra layer of moisture on the skin because it's just such a beautiful kind of creamy texture. So I'm just gonna take that on my finger and just pat that on the high points and even though I do have a ton of texture right here I feel like it almost hides it a little bit because it is a little more glossy and it just adds a little bit of a a moisturized look to the skin and then for blush my favorite is the Aeropress Carrot Color Pot um, it's again very moisturizing very hydrating but it's also very long wearing and it just kind of gives the skin a little bit of a smoothing effect. So I'm going to take this on my finger as well and just pat that on the cheek with my fingers. It blends really nicely too. And I'm picky about cream products, especially me living in such a hot climate. The cream products that I reach for, like they've got, they've got to be good. They got to be really good and... These are amazing. I'm very, very picky when it comes to especially cream blush. Like, I'm so picky. And that's honestly why I don't wear cream blush very often. Because I'm just not in love with a ton of formulas. But this Aeropress one is just the best. So, I'm going to take some on my nose as well. Because I got a little dryness there. So, might as well. And I feel like a really good cream blush, when you find that perfect formula, it really can just kind of smooth out the skin a little bit and just add more of a healthy look to the skin. All right, so one more step for the base that I think is key, going in with a little bit of a glycerin spray, an aloe spray, something that's gonna be more moisturizing, not necessarily a setting spray where it's like long wearing, like I wouldn't go in with like an Urban Decay all nighter spray, that can oftentimes dry dry out the skin and do more harm than good so I would reach for something a little bit more on the hydrating spectrum this one from Honest Beauty is really good because it's fragrance free um, it's their calm and go face mist it's got a really nice mister and I really like this one pixie makes like a milky mist that's really good too um, again I would try and avoid mists with essential oils that's why I'm not using the PYT one that one has um, ylang ylang and I think it has a couple other essential oils, but I just try and go for very basic products. So I'm gonna spray my face with this. 
and it just kind of it melts down the powder that we use we didn't use a lot of powder today but it just kind of melts that into the skin melts all the cream products together and I just find it just again adds another layer of hydration and this is a really great product to keep in your purse if you're going to be at work all day or be out and about all day or even if you're just going to be at home misting your face throughout the day with this will really help with that dryness or even just if you have some irritation like your skin is just feeling a little inflamed going in with something very calming and hydrating like this very soothing can really just I don't know it just kind of makes you feel better makes your skin feel better so this is a really great one there's a bunch of different myths out there again I would try and avoid essential oils um, in your products when you're dealing with irritated skin um, and I really like this one so I'm just gonna do a really quick brow I forgot to do it honestly before I started filming so I'm just gonna go in with my color pop brow pencil all right and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of soap in my brows to keep them in place. Whoops. All right, and then do a little mascara. I'm just going to take my CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Mascara. I'm just going to take a little bit of my AeroPress blush and just pat that on my lips. And then I'm going to go in with LA Girl Cafe. Alright guys, so this is the makeup, this is the skin, and this is how I do my makeup when I don't really want to do my makeup, but I just feel like I want to put something on my face and my skin is irritated, I'm breaking out, I've got dryness, texture, and these are the products I'll use. It's very simple. And I hope that if you're dealing with any kind of skin issues, whatever that may be, I hope that some of this is helpful for you. Some of these tips. You don't have to use these products. I think the biggest mi misconception with skin in general is that if I use this one product, whether it's a skincare product or a makeup product, everything's just going to be solved. Like everything's just going to be better. And your skin is so personal to you. So um, you don't have to necessarily use the products that I'm using. These are just the ones that I've used for years and that work very, very well for me. They're tried and true. Like I have tried these in every scenario and they've really made a difference in my skin. But of course, make this personal to you. And some of it, unfortunately, is trial and error. Sometimes you just kind of have to try things out, see how they work. Um, and then, of course, if your skin is just really not happy and the thought of putting anything on your face just is like, no, then don't wear makeup at all. Let your skin breathe. Let it, you know, apply your skincare, apply your moisturizer and just let it breathe. Let all that sink in and just allow it to kind of heal. Um, sometimes you just need to take a few days off. Sometimes it's just taking that time to figure out like, what's wrong with my skin? What do I need to change to uh, figure out what's going on with my skin? We all have bad skin days. I'm dealing with some not very good skin right now, but this is the makeup that I'll do. I feel very happy with this. Um, and honestly, I, I try not to wear makeup when my skin is irritated, but if I just feel like I want to put some makeup on or... I just need to do a little something. This is what I'll do. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As always, remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.